jQuery can be used to manipulate the DOM, to read values that are stored in the DOM, to animate, to attach events to DOM elements. But the first step for all of these things is always to be able to select the elements that you want to work with. So from the entire DOM, which is the document object model, the object that stores all of the contents of the website, the first thing that we need to do is select which particular node, which particular element in this in this uh, tree of elements is the one that we need. So in this lesson we're going to learn how to select elements based on their class, on their tag, and on their ID. The first thing I need to say is that in order for us to be able to select an element, therefore to work with jQuery in any manner, the page needs to be completely loaded in your browser so that all of the all of the nodes of the page are available to for you to work with. So that's the first step that we need to um, check that the page is fully loaded. jQuery comes with um, a function. This is how you can check that the DOM is uh, is being fully loaded on the page. So we use the dollar sign for jQuery, and then we are basically selecting the entire document. And if that entire document is ready, then we'll execute whatever comes in here. So this is where our code, this is where our code goes for all that matters with jQuery. Now regarding selection, jQuery takes all of its selection. Um, language basically from CSS. So we, you should be familiar with some of uh, CSS main ways of selecting elements, CSS selectors they're called. So this is how we can select elements by their tag, uh, how we can select elements by, by their ID, and how we can select elements by their class. In jQuery we can use the same uh, CSS selectors not just these ones, more advanced ones as well. So that's a good thing. So we don't have to learn a new um, selection language, basically. So I'm going to start by showing you how to select an element by ID. And uh, that one would be this one, the one with ID container. That's what I want to select. And once I select it, I want to change its HTML content. So I'm going to use the dollar sign, which represents jQuery. And um, I'm going to use quotes and see how I'm using the exact same CSS selector. Now that I've selected the element, let's um, let's do something with it. Let's change its HTML. And how about we add a strong tag and we say hello and we close the strong tag. And now we reload the page and see how now we have that uh, node that was added. Um, in this um, document object model in the DOM. Um, besides modifying the HTML like this, um, you could just focus on the text that's inside of that element, on the text node. Um, so we have a HTML node here, we have another HTML node here that's a strong tag, and then we have a text node that's just hello. Um, so by using, by using text, you can just focus on the text. And by using HTML, you change, um, you can add more nodes that will go inside. So that's selection by ID. What about selection by class? Well, it's super easy. Just the same thing. Just dot class one. Exactly what we're doing here. And you can guess that for tags, it's also the same thing. So I'm not going to cover that one too. But this is how we can select by a class. In this case, class one would be all of these um, li elements, list elements. Uh, let's reload the page. See how that's how. See what happens. All right. So, um, just to summarize, the document needs to be fully loaded in the page for you to work with any elements. So this is how you check for that. You always start by by doing this. We put this in an external file, and we're loading jQuery before so that the dollar sign is uh, object is is available. We're loading it from the C CDN, and uh, in order to select elements, you can use all sorts of CSS selectors, uh, ID, tag, class, and a bunch of other ones.